All right, this is number four from uh, the Calc A, B, and B, C exams in 2010. Um, and the first question, we have this uh, region, which was actually given to you in the question. Um, and we have to find the area of that region. So area is just going to be the integral from uh, A to B of top takeaway bottom in this case. Um, so it's the integral from 0 to 9 of the top curve, which is 6, um, minus the bottom curve, which is 2 root x. Um, and then I'm going to throw in a dx there. So I need to integrate this. So that's going to be uh, the integral of 6 is 6x, and then minus. And now uh, I'm treating it as uh, x to the 1 half. So if I add 1 to the exponent, I get 3 halves. Multiply by the reciprocal. Uh, so the reciprocal is 2 thirds. So uh, negative 2 times 2 thirds is negative 4 thirds. And then x to the, so it was 1 half, and I had 1, so 3 halves. x to the 3 halves. And then evaluate from 0 to 9. So that's going to be equal to um, 9 times 6 is 54. And then minus 4 thirds of. So if I take 9 and substitute it in, I'm taking the square root of 9, which is 3, and then cubing it, which is 27. And then uh, I have to plug in 0. But when you plug in 0, you just get 0. And uh, then I can clean this up a little bit to get 18 as the area. Um, Okay, so the next question, I'm going to reproduce my graph here. And uh, I'm asked to write but not evaluate uh, an integral giving the volume when you rotate around 7. So let's add uh, y equals 7 to that. And then let's also add uh, the big radius and the small radius. So the big radius, you start at the axis and go until you hit the outer edge of the region. So right there. And then uh, the inner or smaller radius is you go until you hit the inner curve. Um, so let's see. There's going to be a pi involved and an integral, and we're going to go from 0 to 9, and then it's going to be the quantity um, axis minus outer, and then I have to square that, minus, and then it's going to be the quantity axis minus inner, and square that, and then dx, and put in some parentheses, and uh, you don't have to evaluate that, so that's actually just the answer to this question. Moving on to the next part. Um, Reproduce the graph a little bigger this time. Um, so now what we're doing is uh, we have rectangles perpendicular to the y-axis. So let's draw one of those in. So it looks like that. And since it's perpendicular to the y-axis, we have to um, solve all of the equations for x instead of for y. But there's only one to solve. Um, so we get x equals y squared over 4. All right, so I'm going to actually write the integral. So it's going to be from... Uh, 0 to 6 because it's dy, so you use the y values. And then uh, it's a rectangle where they tell us this. It's, I don't know. They do this sometimes. It's uh, The height is 3 times the uh, length of the base, and the base is uh, the little segment that we've drawn. So the base is just y squared over 4, and then the height is 3 times that to give you this. Um, and so, yeah, that's it. Uh, we can clean that up a little bit, but we're already done. And uh, let me just explain that one more time. We know that we have to integrate the area of a cross section, and it's a rectangle, so that's base times height. And the base in this case is y squared over 4, um, because, it, well, it's right take away left, but the left curve is uh, x equals 0, and then the height is 3 times that. All right, so that's it. Nothing to really be afraid of here. Um, hope it was helpful, and good luck.